watching too. I know. So Dante, you know, first and foremost, looking at you know now that this is day two with Brooklyn, what can you say about you know what you've taken from the first couple days? Um, first couple days were real good. Um, so we didn't play as well today, but you know the effort was still there. You know we we were down 20 from from almost from the start, but uh, you know continue to fight hard. Um, Guys put the effort in, just, you know, shots weren't falling in the game. Miami shot, <laughs> shot the ball real well. So, uh, you know, we just got to regroup. The good thing about the NBA is, you know, you have another game either the next day or the day after that. So, have another one tomorrow, and uh, just got to focus on that. When you look at this game, even though, you know, Miami shot the ball well and, and there was a big deficit, you guys seem to come back, score quickly. The offense seemed to be working when you needed it late. So, I mean, the hole was kind of dug at that point, but the team never gave up. So what can you say about, you know, the fact that you guys really came together? Um, we fight. You know, we, we, we came together um, on last uh, last Monday. And uh, you said, said we're going to come out. You know, Brooklyn hasn't won a summer league game in two years. So we found this getting that first one out the way on uh, on, some, on Saturday. And I just want to keep going. You know, we're, we're a close-knit group. I mean, we're... It's 17 of us, but, you know, I feel like everybody is pretty cool with everybody. We're, you know, cheering for everybody and everybody to be successful. So we're just out here just fighting, trying to get a job, and, and trying to show teams that, uh, you know, we got something to bring to, to the organization. How can you have camaraderie in, in that type of environment when you know that you guys are together as a team but are probably not going to be together as a team? Um, I think it's just a mixture of, of older and younger guys that we have. You know, myself, I think uh, as far as the day experience, I have the most on the team. Um, you know, it's the long summer. And then you still got guys who have, have played in the NBA half to the minutes as in Mason Plumlee and uh, Marcus T. And then you know, have, have the rest of the young guys, uh, Xavier Thames, um, who is been the best at that. So you know, we got a, we got a, a good mixture of older and younger guys. And, you know, we're all just trying to just go out there and work, man. We're trying to look, look good. You know, that, you know, it's not all about you sometimes. It's all about, you know, what you can do for your teammates. So, uh, you know, we're just out there trying to work. What can you say, you know, when you say it's not all about you, it's about your teammates as well? You're trying to get a job, but at the same time, you're trying to win games. How do you kind of balance both, knowing that there is some of this that is about you? Um, just showing the scouts you know how to play. You know, a lot of the times, you know, a lot of teams don't need you to go out and score 30, 40 points a night. You know, maybe, maybe 8 to 10 points, um, 4, 5, or 6, uh, 6 or 7 games. You know, just try to fill the stat line up and, and show teams that you know how to play. So, uh, you know, knowing that, um, trying to tell the young guys the same thing, and hopefully it just carries over. How does that time in Sacramento help you now? What can you say looking back on the longest stint that you had in the NBA? Um, it helped me a lot. Um, you know, I was young coming to the NBA. Really um, didn't understand about how to be a pro. So, uh, you know, now knowing how to, how to be a pro a little bit older, um, just try to help the young guys. And for me, in my situation, just try to know what teams are looking for and, and you know, just to go out there and play my game and not try to do too much. Just, you know, play to my strengths and, and, and show them that, you know, that I can help the organization. When you were at Syracuse, you like to take that three outside of, you know, backing a guy down. Where are you at right now as far as your game? Um, you know, I'm just trying to show them that I'm not just a point shooter. Uh, coming to the league, you know, I was definitely known for, for, for putting them up. But now, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, be aggressive, get to the rack, and also play for my teammates. And then had a couple of assists tonight, so just trying to, just try to show them to the pack again, not just a, a perimeter player that can go inside at some point. How do you define Dante Green on the court right now? Um, active. Uh, uh, a, a versatile veteran and, uh, knows how to play the game and, and, and just trying to help my teammates out and, and get back in the league and, and get back to the field. You talked to Jeremy Grant when you were coming on the court. He was going off. What do you want to have when you have an extended conversation? What do you want to talk with him about? Um, just, just, just try to talk to him about being a player. I'm sure he's sitting down. Um, you know, I had a couple of, of veterans and Shirley for Bill Raheem and Bobby Jackson and uh, Brad Miller who, you know, really tried to sit me down. But, you know, you being young, you really don't understand. So, you know, me being a little close to Jeremy's age, just really try to sit him down and tell him, like, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's a business. You know, it's time, it's time for playing, it's time for work. So, uh, you know, I think he'll be all right. You know, of course, he has his dad and his uncles in, in his corner. He should, you know, we're in the NBA for, for many years and we're, we're great pros. So, 
Yeah, you know, just from a, a, a guy who's close to age with him and, and known him for a while. Just sit down and talk to him. Yeah. You know, let him know that, that if he needs anything out here, and just keep working. And lastly, C.J. Fair, Tyler Ennis, Jeremy Grant, all drafted. It's been a while, you know, when you see three SU guys, you know, not necessarily go in the draft, but C.J. went after the fact, but still, you know, included in that opportunity to play. What can you say about the fact that there's three guys that are vying for a job now in the NBA from Syracuse, knowing that the talent is still there? Um, you know, Syracuse is, is the council program. You know, Behan, Behan knows what he's doing with his recruiting. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's good to, to have uh, some, more, some more guys in the league. Uh, I know when I, was, when I was in, I think it was just myself. Uh, Mr. Nichols was in and out. Um, Johnny came in after me, and then we had Wes. So, you know, now we're starting to get some more with, with, uh, with Tyler and uh, with uh, Jeremy and CJ. And, you know, hopefully everything will be in. Keep, keep it moving. And lastly, Bayheim's known for a lot of different things. What's one thing that you remember about him that can help you today? What do you think oh, about him on the court? What that can help me today? <laughs> that can help you today. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, everything really Bayheim teaches can help you. But uh, really just just taking your time. I'm not trying to rush. Uh, play everything yourself. Don't try to let the team speed you up and, and, and have fun with it.